I'm going to talk about um, world map using Google Earth chat GPT and Google Documents. First, uh, and I'll talk about the summer solstice and then the Earth rotation. One make Earth rotation, make the Northern Hemisphere and the uh, solar energy go for the 60, 6.5 and the Arctic area makes uh, uh, white night. I use this for voice typing. And today I talk about uh, summer solstice and uh, Earth rotation. Earth rotation makes the Northern Hemisphere the white date in Arctic area in summer solstice. This is a phenomenon of the Earth's rotation. The sun is directly, the angle is 23.5 degree, but Earth rotates the, the area about that. So, and then this phenomenon is very unique in summer solstice. Nowadays, uh, all the weather forecasts talking about uh, whether climate change or the highest temperature in Northern Hemisphere specific area. And then this phenomenon is a, a really important part uh, with this uh, natural, natural phenomenon by Earth's rotation. Let's check out AI and then let's see with the Google Earth. GPT and then what to say about this uh, uh, summer source tips. Twenty eh? first northern hemisphere and then direct solar is twenty three five north latitude longest day in the world Arctic region and about temperature free climate change weather forecast and internal of analysis to lay weather forecast conclusion. Yes. Earth's axial tilt rotation. The Earth's axial tilt and rotation. Uh, we are uh, we should know about that this phenomenon again, and then I get uh, more information about this. And let's see. Uh, axial tilt is about twenty three point five degrees. It's very delicate one. The season summer winter equinox. Uh, and earth rotation definition day and night color effect some we we need a polar night and then upsending versus the extra tilt and rotation is crucial to the dynamic of our planet climate and weather system this is a fundamental characteristic playing the upwards okay let's see and then the uh, um this Google us. This is a Google us, uh, but and an aspect of uh, just only looks like a satellite image, but I think it's a fake because uh, it's from the actually it's from the map, illustrated map, because uh, it's it, it's cube and then it's not a real because uh, it cannot be the and then we have an image about distorted image anyway. So, and then I can get, uh, let's see, uh, I can explain uh, here in Korea better. And then, uh, so in terms of sol summer solstice, the solar uh, sun directly here, and then Taiwan, Taiwan is uh, 23.5 degree, and then here, then I can mark with this, and then here is Taiwan. That means in so this 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 area is uh, directly then uh, ninety degree about uh, solar angle, solar angle. But uh, what we should know about that, and then when the solar solar uh, shine the Earth planet, uh, in fact, when we understand about solar energy, 
solar energy is stable, very, very stable, because uh, solar energy, some light, not move, only one move, simply moves here, and then the Earth move like this, and like this. By doing that, and then here, and then west part, and then can see the morning. And then an east part, and then can see the night. That this is a uh, uh, noon time, directly so noon time. But as you know, the summer solstice is in the northern hemisphere daytime, it and then uh quite longer than nighttime. This is a natural phenomenon. But it's a very important thing is. It? And then when we understand about the Earth, and then sunshine is just stay, and then only the Earth moving to the rotation, rotation and uh, reversed uh, clockwise, and then rotate, and then and tilted. The point is tilted twenty three point five degree. It makes uh, um, summer solstices and then phenomena. By doing that, maybe we are singing about here, around uh, around here. This uh, is the uh, North Pole, North Pole. And then actually moving like this. We are so moving like this. Then solar energy in directly in here. So, and then it means uh, on the other side of, uh, um, and here is, uh, hmm, uh latitude uh, and then 60 60 6 point uh, five and then and the other side of northern lat uh northern latitude will be the area is uh, um a date that means the white night the white night is uh, uh very important to one in the climate exchange or the phenomenon of summer solstice in northern hemisphere because uh, all areas and then daytime quite longer than um, other uh, place and maybe and then here about I can check out uh, just uh, twelve hours equally daytime and nighttime equal and then where maybe I can ask you uh, AI. Okay, let me check. Go back. I can ask it with the AI and then here. In summer solstice, where is what latitude is daytime and nighttime is the same? I um I can uh, make a projection about this uh, project with you, AI. This is a very, a very, very unique. And then, uh, let me see. During the summer solstice, uh, equator, zero degree, sun's position, 12 hours night time, then tropical cancer is the longest day of the year, middle latitude. Is in long, long days with the daylight. Southern hemisphere um, experience the shortest day of the year. Um, during the summer, such a wild northern hemisphere experience the longest day of the year, and the equator remains a unique in having equal length of daytime and nighttime. Oh, really? Equator, approximately two hours each, is constant today at night, circle. At the equator is due to the positional relative Earth's actual tilt and rotation. Hmm. So, okay, understand about equator is a uh, equator is a, again back and then here the I1 and then equator line about here and equator line go on daytime and nighttime is the same. Night time is same. That means uh, uh, the southern latitude is uh, 
uh, night time is longer, and northern northern light is uh, daytime is longer, and the it's it could be in, in any specific time area like uh, the Arctic, and then the Antarctic. The place is uh, here is a uh, night date and a white night. This is a uh, uh, important phenomenon of uh, and then solar energy when the the Earth's uh, rotation. Uh, because we imagine about this phenomenon and then uh, not change it, not change it. Always the uh, sun here never change it, only change the, the earth. The climate, the pattern is a matter of the earth's rotation and evolution. And then solar is a little bit stable. It seems like uh, one God. And then anyway, the symbol of our energy. And then in uh, human culture, is related with the sun in many ways, uh, historically. And then, anyway, so uh, we are talking more about, i talking more about. And then, uh, here night date, and then here's a white night. And then, and that means it goes, uh, uh, night time is longer, longer, longer. And then, uh, when the reach this, uh, southern hemisphere 60, 60.5, and the other Ar Antarctic side is always night times. On the other hand, otherwise, and then the northern hemisphere, and then daytime is longer, longer, and then go for, and then same as the, the latitude 66.5, uh, this area experience about uh, one night. And then it means uh, always uh, 24 hours is uh, uh, daytime. Uh, after summer solstice, it quite be changed uh, rapidly here. Also here is also rapidly. Uh, this is a winter solstice. It's like a, a very, very changeable. Okay, back to where it is. Uh, and then when we understand about this phenomenon, about the uh, uh, solar energy uh, in a Northern Hemisphere, and then area like this, and then we can experience uh, uh, moving here and the solar energy, and the solar energy comes same, and then the uh, area is uh, quite wide, and that uh, phenomenon is uh, happens. It's unique. And for example, uh, solar energy directly uh, shine uh, the Earth, the planet, and then does uh, like to the circle. It, in terms of electric circle like this is small. And then, so and when it tilted, and then the solar, solar daylight, daylight, that means the solar light, it uh, can then come to here. So we can measure about, and then about at the same time, daytime here, daytime area, and nighttime area, uh, it, it, it could be measured by the some calculation about this is the daytime area. So as for example, we go for the northern part and then this is the North Pole and then we go for North Pole here and maybe this latitude is 80 degree, it means uh, solar angle, all the cover. So, and then these uh, all daytime for 20 hours. There is no nighttime, nighttime here. So there is a white night. So, and then uh, this phenomenon is 
very important when we understand about the climate or daytime or the area of the uh, landside uh, is the northern hemisphere. And how can we understand about this uh, circle and then long daytime and then what what does it affect on the Earth's climate? In fact, and then we are living on the planet and then we uh, review about this uh, pattern in terms of uh, the area of uh, and the Northern Hemisphere. Um, viewing about uh, the area, Northern Hemisphere to the center of the world, and then it's very important one, for example, and we uh, see to the, uh, and then if in Korea here, and then we call the center in Korea, and then and it, and we can get gray circle here about view here, and then go directly, and go directly, and go directly, and go directly. Um, this this uh, this is a. Uh, uh, we can measure about that, and then uh, actually, uh, the, the this one is a uh, uh, longitude, and and then one hundred twenty seven east, and then also the backside here, um, the west fifty three or four. The West Fifty Three. We understand about that the longitude, but the gray circle is here, gray circle. And then we understand know about the other side, and then we cannot see, but the other side is Uruguay, and then here, um, uh, Northern Hemisphere, um, sorry about seven, but now we go back the other side. The other side, uh, South uh, Surrey Seven. This is uh, this is about gray circle, and then gray circle can give us uh, a new world map, new map projection with AI, and then uh, new new world map. Uh, map. Because uh, this is a very important one, and when uh, we we can make uh, uh, with a gray circle and new map here. And then why is it important? And then we can measure uh, this one about, uh, and then here, the, the Northern Arctic area and quite close to the Korea. And then so the Korea is uh, as a 37, uh, latitude in northern hemisphere it much more affected by the summer solstice uh, because it's the daytime longer than nighttime and then the northern hemisphere is the same also the moving side here and then similar like this this way and this uh, uh, turning for turning is uh, maybe uh, as a turn 23 23.5 degree, and then we understand about, and then how it move uh, using the latitude line is a uh, circle line with, because of tilted, and then uh, the daytime and nighttime will be changed simultaneously day by day. It, uh, it, it looks like a ratio and uh, it's quite a uh, uh, regular pattern. And it's similar like uh, when we understand about our planet and then and it's uh, it's like a clock. It's, uh, it's like a, a clock watch. Uh, very, very uh, patternable, regularly and then slow changing like uh, the moon or the sun. Actually the sun is stay 
the Earth's moon, and then the moon and uh, moon also move, but and uh, also and the uh, regular pattern is that. And then here, and the point is uh, that if this is uh, uh, the half side is uh, actually equator line. Because uh, the summer solstice equator uh, line, equator line is go for the down here, much equator line, right like this. This is uh, uh, another, uh, another uh, right circle. And then equator line also gray circle and uh, showing uh, a gray circle uh, tilted like uh, this the other side and that is a equator line uh, in terms of uh, the gray circle of 37 it means uh, it, when we slice uh, that that one and then we find uh, uh, the degree of uh, uh, the degree of the Area is uh, 37, 37 degree of 37. Uh, I'm talking about that and the phenomenon of uh, the weather condition or the daytime. Uh, it's, it's very uh, unique and to me, and then I'm quite interested about it. And then if we make gray circle map, uh, with the AI, and then AI can give. Uh, let me check again. Can you make a gray circle map any place, uh, the center of the world map? For example, uh, South Korea is the center of the world map. Is it possible to mapping? Asking AI and then AI answer about that. Yeah, it's possible. And then, um, this. I I think uh, if uh, we have uh AI with AI, we have uh, generated map with uh, some projection, and then and uh, we understand about much more understand about our planet, and then. In science, uh, actually, in science, uh, um, mostly we use the world map. Oh, I've never seen before this. Wow, what is it? <laughs> uh, this this one's for the first time. Amazing. Ah, quite understandable. It, it's it's very big, and then. It looks like uh, unique, and then uh, I didn't know that. It was time to see. Here's a gray circle map center of Seoul, South Korea. This may accurately represent the sun direction from Seoul to any other point of the map. The elementary equation to projection into all point on the map at at the correct distance from the center point. So making the use of the for various geographical analysis. Wow. But I want this uh, and then uh, center the Korea center the world map. And then a little bit distorted again. But uh, in terms of uh, the directly, the gray circle line here to Kenya, maybe, and here to the ocean and the other side of uh, where it's. Uh, and then uh, the other side is Uruguay. And then uh, we see uh, directly some measures. And then, but here, northern hand, northern part. Um, I'm not sure about this. This 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 one is uh, actually um correct, not correct. Anyway, the unit. Uh, what I mean about <clears throat> okay, let me see. And then this area is uh, the gray circle. We go for the gray circle. In terms of, so gray circle line is uh, 
the y y combination equals zero. And then and about uh this um uh zero two northern hemisphere and then about thirty seven and means uh, thirty seven ninety um fifty three about fifty three and then here maybe fifty three. Uh, this line is uh, 53, 9 degrees. So, and then and, uh, we, we normally hand 53 go to 90. And, and also the 53 south. We can find in 53 south. So, the Answer fifty three is the end. Looks like a uh, south pole, and then is a uh, north fifty three. Because of Seoul is a uh, uh, northern thirty seven, and this is a uh, north pole, and then the map is coming to like this, uh, actually. And then a the major like this. And uh, we understand about that uh, gray circle with this. And then the, here, the Kenyan library and then the zero equator. And then uh, equator line here. Yeah, directly here, equator line. That means here, equator. And then with the gray circle. So, and then we understand about this. Uh, with this, uh, this this area is uh, equator line is uh, in some sort of the daytime and nighttime is the same, and you check about the more in detail, and then other area this uh, uh, um, northern hemisphere is uh, daytime is uh, longer than nighttime, and then the southern hemisphere uh, is uh, nighttime is longer than uh daytime. It's every day it changes. So and then um equinox and uh, until the equinox uh, that means uh, the September twenty two and then September twenty two the uh, all all the all areas daytime and nighttime similar similar not the same because of the twilight. And this rule is very important in uh, on our planet. So and when we use uh, this map and the gray circle map, and then uh, using AI, and then maybe AI can show a different uh, uh, the map. And then by doing that, we understand about and the specific area is the uh, same. Uh, for example, uh, this area line and then the gray circle line, this line is uh, almost uh, exact, uh, lower, lower distortion. And then go here and then only um, the long street line and then the other side and very distorted line, distorted line, and then the wide. Uh, so, and then the, uh, the different view, the new map, uh, the Y combination is zero over gray circle. It will be shown then to us and um, uh, different. And then go back here to Google us and then using this. When we are uh, finally Google us again, and then uh, we understand about um, uh, much more about the area uh, of that. For example, we, uh, in terms of we see, and then uh, here, Mongolia and Ulaanbaatar. Let's see that. I can change it with this. So let it uh, the, um, Uh, not easy. 
if uh, I can make a gray circle map, gray circle area with the, uh, the Google Earth, and then quite easy to understand. Okay, let's see. Now, okay. Now Mongolia, so Kyrgyzstan, okay. Kyrgyzstan is okay. Let's see that. And then uh, about uh, two, when we uh, observed the two country and then Kyrgyzstan and South Korea indirectly. Uh, when we uh, line here directly and then the short distance is also gray circle. The gray circle like the line is like this. And then um, we can get the, the post and Mercator, Mercator, the world map, traditional world map. And then second, to understand the Kyrgyzstan, we can get the world map, the Kyrgyzstan world map with the AI. Then uh, understand them uh, better by using, I'll show that. And then like this uh, people we saw and then Korea world map. And then last, the four is uh, Kyrgyzstan and Korea world map. It means the gray circle map. Actually, the gray circle map is, uh, we should know about this map. And then where is the highest latitude area? Actually, uh, when uh, we checking out, maybe uh, I guess uh, this point, this point is uh, uh, the center of gray circle map about this. Race of map. Uh, let me let me check one more thing, and then uh, I'll try to find the world map of Kyrgyzstan. I can understand about Kyrgyzstan much uh, better, and then uh, AI can give uh, this an uh, impressive to me. Again, I go um here the same. Can you make a gray circle map? The center of the world map, for example, Kyrgyzstan is the center of the world map. It is possible mapping. Kyrgyzstan. I'm not sure it gives me uh, Kyrgyzstan. Anyway, let's go. Kyrgyzstan, where the Kyrgyzstan? Maybe it's uh, from Afghanistan area or something? Wow. My pronunciation is bad, um, but uh, yes, Pakistan. Kyrgyzstan, right? or I go back to <laughs> this funny thing, but um, actually Kyrgyzstan. Right again. Can you make a gray circle map, the center of the world map, for example, Kyrgyzstan? Kazakhstan. Is it the center of the world map? Is possible mapping Kazakhstan? Okay, then um, I change it uh, from Kyrgyzstan to Kazakhstan. It's a similar, it doesn't matter. And then um, uh, Kazakhstan, and we understand about the same area, and 51 and then uh, 
with the argumental mapping about this um, amazing um, low filter, Kazakhstan. And then we understand about the area about Kazakhstan and Korea, and then uh, we will see here. And then when, when the center, when we see the understand about Korea is here, and then Kazakhstan here, um, roughly, no, I think, I don't know, New Sultan. Where is Mongolia? It's Mongolia. Ah, Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. All right, Kazakhstan here. It's ah uh, here Kazakhstan. This is Kyrgyzstan. This is Kyrgyzstan. Almost same, same area. So the center of Kazakhstan or Kyrgyzstan, we can see. Uh, we understand about this country when uh because uh, we use uh, this is. Uh, and first is a traditional world map. Second is uh, the Kyrgyzstan or Kazakhstan world map, Kyrgyzstan world map here. And then the third is uh, uh, Korea world map. And then four is the Great Sakura world map. Uh, using these four map, we understand uh, clearly about uh, each country. And then when we see the center of the central Asia, and Kyrgyzstan and Kazakhstan, we directly see about uh, this country in the center and then the center of actually uh, the land side actually, but it's a little bit east and west, south and north, and then the west, the almost same area, a little bit centered in Asia, in Eurasia almost the central area in uh, Kazakhstan. But when traditional map, when we see the traditional map, we didn't see, uh, not likely, because uh, this map is uh, quite wide. This area is very wide, also very distorted about, in terms of uh, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, distorted. So we, we did not understand the, about it's uh, naturally in the phenomenon of that. So, and then what I'm talking about, when we use, when we uh, study about uh, relation to country like uh, Kyrgyzstan to Korea, and then we can view of uh, two countries centralized world map. By doing that, we understand geographically and uniquely. And also the, uh, the one is uh, the gray circle world map, in terms of two countries and shortest distance and then uh, centralized. You, with the helping of AI, AI can give this map or something. It's very unique. Uh, I saw amazing. Anyway, and then i um, go back to the gray circle. And then let's see, here we go. Understand about this, uh, uh, Kazakhstan, and then we can see the world map here, Kyrgyzstan to Kyrgyzstan, and uh, or Kazakhstan, and then world map one, and then the center of the world map of Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan. By doing that, and we review, we understand that this area, the sand area, the central Asia, and then the uh, geographical and the climate or something, or much more understand, very close to that. And then also, I live in South Korea. We know already about this area. So to later understand about these uh, two country, and then now and last world map with the gray circle here, and then Kyrgyzstan to South Korea, and then the short distance is the gray circle. And then the gray circle, it means uh, and it, maybe this is the highest, uh, high, highest, maybe this is the highest, about uh, this is the center of the world map. And then we can get uh, this map, and then we make uh, directly this 
and uh, Kyrgyzstan to South Korea with the coordination of Y equals zero coordination map we can get. By doing that, we understand about uh, from Kyrgyzstan to South Korea. If we uh, freeway to airplane, um, we directly fly to the distance uh, and then using the short distance uh, and then in the future is very important part uh, with the GPS or some and then directly we can view and understand about all the processes and then environment things. And for example, uh, here the latitude line is uh, like this. This latitude line is uh, uh, not the uh, uh, world map. The traditional world map, we see that, and then uh, maybe the world map here, and then Korea here, Kyrgyzstan here, uh, we are directly, we line like this. But this line is not good. This, is, this line is, uh, why is not good? And then maybe this line is uh, curved like this, like this, because this is very soft. And also the line is here is uh, the the <coughs> thirty seven uh, latitude is a curved one, but then in traditional map the latitude is uh, the parallel, the parallel, and then this is a uh, line. So and when we see the view of the world map like this, this is a very distorted one when we see them. I don't understand that in science data or geographical data or mathematical data and all we use the great the Mercator world map, this is not good for uh, in terms of distorted area. This is this is this gives uh, and then uh, not good and because uh, it the from the result and then I the data is uh, like a uh, mapping data is uh, uh, actually not good. And then the even data says one hundred percent showing the map and then uh distorted and so and then the by doing mix distorted uh, uh geographic area concept and on one hundred percent data give and you know, with the satellite something then we understand not one hundred. Mix distorted, maybe we hundred and and then eighty, uh, or ninety, and then minus twenty is uh, uh, the phenomenon of distorted. So and then we believe we are knowing about the data, we understand about the reality, but actually not. We just uh, uh, affected by distorted world map in terms of any specific area. For example, about. Uh, Nowadays, we are reported a lot about uh, Northern Hemisphere, uh, for example, in India, it's a very heated area, this. Uh, but in terms of uh, India and in the circle of uh, cancer, uh, and then 23 degree and then high, and then we should see about, and when we uh, can uh, different view, and then we see that, okay. Today I talk about using um, uh, voice and then AI and Google Map and then uh, luckily and then I get uh, amazing things I didn't know about first time the ChatGPT show me uh, any any place the central world map it's very unique actually this one is from James this is programmed. Uh, one and then with the James uh, uh, Pro map and projection using that it's a, it's very simple. That means I think it's an AI can give any projection model about this. Okay, today very good.